Hey everyone, Grant Alexander here. Welcome back to the channel. If you watch my tape dispenser video, there's a link down below, you would have seen me ruin one of these nice Diablo blades. Now that it's been a few weeks, I've come up with a few different ways that I could have avoided this mistake. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the ways that I think this mistake could have been avoided. So here's what happened. I drilled a hole, I added steel BBs to that hole, I glued everything together, and I later changed my mind and I wanted to shorten up the tape dispenser, so I put it on the table saw to cut it through. And this is what happened. And of course the aftermath. I destroyed this blade. And as you can see here, and in this close up here, you can see the teeth are destroyed and this blade's no longer usable. Another example of a project where I had a concealed compartment is this mallet I built. I did the same thing as the tape dispenser, drilled some holes, filled them with steel BBs, and that added a little bit of weight. So what can you do to make sure it doesn't happen again? Of course, the first thing is use your noggin and try and remember it. And everyone knows that memory isn't the most reliable thing. So another idea I had is take a picture. So then later, if you're ever thinking about changing the design or you're not sure if you're going to be cutting through something, you can always refer back to the picture. But of course, that's not even the greatest. What if you forget to refer back to the picture? Well, the last thought I had is to actually draw the comp hidden compartments on the outside piece. I feel like this would be the most reliable way of ensuring that you don't cut through it and you can always go back later and erase it or sand off the pencil marks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Most of all, I hope that you learn something and that way you can avoid the costly mistake that I already made. If you've got any ideas on how to avoid a mistake like this, let me know in the comments below. Until next time, cheers and have a great day.